Today, I'm going to update the firmware on my FT-891. Stick around. Hi everyone, Beer Snack here. Today, I'm updating the firmware on my FT-891. This firmware update was released by Yesu on February 1st of 2021 and it is now March 7th so I'm a little behind in getting to it. And according to Yesu, the improvements they have to the main and the DSP firmwares include a fixed bug that the S meter may not indicate the correct received signal level as well as other improved and optimized additional functions. So some of the things we'll need in order to get our radio upgraded is our radio, of course. We'll need some way to power it, whether we have it hooked up to an external power supply or a battery. I'm just going to use my battery here. We're going to need a USB cable in order to connect it to the computer. And then for safety, we're going to make sure that we hook it up to the KD9 OLN infamous antenna. So I started off the firmware update by going to the Yezu website and opening the page for the 891. Went to the file section and I downloaded the all current firmware including the new update main DSP and panel. After downloading the zip file appears here in my downloads folder. I open that up and it gives you a list of the files that are inside. You have the firmware the manual itself for how to update the firmware as well as the program for updating. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to unzip this. Now that it's been unzipped we can go ahead and close the zip file. So now we have our unzipped files we have our firmware program, the manual, and the firmware itself. So in the manual, right here, it states, Caution! Be sure to confirm the model and the version of your transceiver before starting the update. Writing incorrect firmware to the transceiver may cause abnormal operation or failure. In other words, you're going to turn your radio into a doorstop. The other important piece of information here is making sure that the Yezu USB virtual COM port drivers are installed on your computer and that is also available on the Yesu website and that's a separate instructions for that. So in continuing down this operation they say you want to check to make sure the current firmware on your receiver. So instructions state would turn on our radio press and hold the function button to bring up the menu then use our multi knob to bring us way down to 18.03 so as you can see my main version here is 107 my DSP is 204 and the <coughs> excuse me LCD is 11 now the updates that are included in this is the main and the DSP. Now the DSP version is listed as the same number for that. So we're going to start off with doing the main firmware. So we're going to jump to page 4 of the manual. Now just be advised it is recommended or advised and strongly strongly advised that you reset to factory defaults after doing the upware upgrade for everything. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. We downloaded the software, we uploaded that, confirm the transceiver is off. So we're going to turn the transceiver back off. Now as you can see here on the back near where the grounding plug is there's a little tiny hole that goes in the back. There's a little tiny switch. That is the programming switch. And I thought I had a pin that I'd be able to slide in there and I don't hang on 
All right, and I'm back. I do have a screwdriver to use here. To go around to the back here, we're going to switch this into the program mode. And now that it's switched into the program mode, we can go ahead and continue down here. <clears throat> use your standard commercially available USB cable. Check. Put the PC. Check. Move the programming to program. Check. Confirm that the external power supply is turned off. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect it from the battery. Well, we don't have to do that. Wow. Okay. The display will be blank. Turn the power external supply out to on. This puts it to blank. Do not turn on the power. Connect or execute the software. Yes, I want to run the software. So now comes up with these three items. Execute the configure button. I believe it's com six. Click the browse button, select the folder that contains the quick main CPU. Okay, so we click main CPU and that's what shows up for the main firmware. And then we just need to click right. Oh, good. Problem on the COM port. Okay, so make sure that I have the right COM port selected. COM7? Well, it says it's now writing, so let's see. Uh oh, we've got a green bar moving. Okay. <laughs> Is it okay? Okay, so now we've written the firmware. Close. Disconnect power. Switch it back to standard mode from the back. Turn the power supply back on. Press and hold the power to turn the transceiver on. Then we're going to go ahead and go back to the main function. Go back down to 18 01, which is the firmware information. And it says firmware version 1 09. So my firmware has been updated for the main version. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to update the DSP firmware too because the firmware that was on here was 204 and that was the same as what is already, you know, what is in the update package. But we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to go ahead and shut this back down. All right, let's see. Concern receiver is off. Disconnect all other cables from the transceiver. to the right side so we want to make sure that it is in the right position okay it is in the right position all right confirm the external power supply is off connect pc power turn the 
turn the power supply on. Turn on the unit while pressing power lock or pressing F and C at the same time. So we're going to hold F and C. Press power. DSP write mode. Okay. So we're going to go ahead back into the software. We want to do DSP. Sure that it's stuck on the same COM port, yes. Clicked on DSP. That is the DSP version. And then we click and cross our fingers and we click right. Okay, maybe. Alright, so we click OK. Press the close button on the software. Okay, so we're to close out the software transfer because we've updated the two pieces of firmware I wanted to. We're going to go ahead and turn off the unit. It says disconnect the USB cable from the transceiver. Okay, and then turn the unit back on. Okay, we're back on here. We're just going to confirm. Well, we don't need to confirm because it was the same version. We'll scroll down here. Yeah, it's the same firmware version, just updated. Okay, so now we need to go how to reset the transceiver after updating the firmware we're on page three. So we're on page three. We're going to go to 17-01 under the functions. Reset. We're going to go ahead and press the multifunction knob to select. And then it says sure that it's set to on or all that it's highlighted press the button now just a reminder you want to make sure all everything you've had in here before you do this you've either written it down or backed it up somewhere so here we go oh it didn't do it because I didn't follow the instructions press and hold the multifunction knob to reset and automatically. Okay, so here we go. Press and hold. And it has been factory reset. There we go. So I now have the updated firmware. And we're good to go from there. Firmware is now updated on my 891. I'm ready to go play with it. This is Beer Snack saying, get on the air.